Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and my name is Siri and welcome back to another video. video i'm here to encourage you all to give up on your journey of being fluent in english you're shocked right and i will explain why because um, recently i received a comment in my comment section saying that siri you're repeating your content so much and uh, you're saying the same thing again and again and i know what i'm creating i know what i'm uploading on my channel and i am consciously doing it because of a reason which i will explain you in a bit which is to make you understand the fact that if i'm repeating something so much that means i am giving a lot of importance to it if i'm telling you all that you know you have to involve english in your daily life you have to watch interviews to be fluent in english if i'm saying that to you again and again that means does not mean that i don't have some fancy content to put on that means i am giving so much of importance to it and i want all of you to understand my intention behind it and that is the reason i share something repeatedly with all of you which is extremely important and this is my reason and there is a problem with every single person who is watching this video there is a problem in your mindset because you are watching my videos with an intention that what siri is going to bring next and it has to be something new from what she has created so far you are watching my videos with this intention i have to watch my videos with an intention that okay if siri is saying something too many times that means it's very important for us to follow this that means it, it's very important for us to involve this into your daily life and to execute this into our daily life this is how you need to think but instead of this you are thinking in that way that's completely fine it's up to you and that is your mindset and i have nothing to bother about it I'll just tell you something that you know you can't do it guys like you can't do it being fluent in english is definitely not not your cup of tea i would highly recommend everybody out there to just give it up because just ask yourself when was the time that you have taken this decision to be fluent in english and what have you been doing from that point of time to this point of time and have you put any kind of effort to be fluent in english have you been practicing every single day have you been disciplined all through the time you have taken this decision to be fluent in english have have you been consistent all through this journey just ask yourself if you fail to answer your own self then i would highly recommend everybody out there to just give up this journey because you know what i'll tell you something if i'm telling you to read one page a day you know you have to get out of your comfort zone for that you have to you know leave watching your favorite show you have to leave watching your favorite social media and you have to get up open the book read 35 lines a day so difficult right who will come out of the comfort zone so difficult to read 35 lines or one page a day so difficult we are not supposed to do that we are just here to enjoy we, we are just here to not to put any kind of effort and just to complain because complaining is very much in our comfort zone just sitting here and complaining that i don't have an english environment around me because of which i'm not able to speak in english so i'm not practice english very easy to complain right and imagine you watching an interview now who is going to watch an interview there are in many other important works for you you have to uh, spend a lot of time lying on your bed and scrolling some unnecessary videos now they are going to give a lot of knowledge to you what interviews do they provide any kind of knowledge do they provide any kind of uh, importance to our english fluency who is going to do that interviews just leave it guys they are waste of time and waste of your energy who is going to do all that now podcast who is going to listen to that boring podcast we are very much interested to waste our time in listening to the same song again and again who is going to do all that so difficult so much of effort so much of energy very difficult no give up give up give up and uh, we should blame our parents you know we we are not supposed to blame ourselves also we should blame our parents that you know because of you because of you guys you you guys didn't join me in a nice school you guys didn't join me in a good school because of which i'm not able to speak in english you guys did not speak in english right from my childhood because of which i'm not able to speak in english so it's your fault not my fault i am good 
I am good in my comfort zone. I am not supposed to put any kind of effort. It's because of you. Why I am struggling to be fluent in English? Shame on you. Literally, shame on you. If you are surrounded by all these thoughts, if you are in any of the situations that I've just mentioned now, shame on you. Feel shameful of yourself because you have internet in your hands. You have every single. thing that you need to be fluent in english you have a lot of people out there who motivate you who tell you every single thing from scratch and still you choose to complain and still you choose to be in your comfort zone and that's why i'm telling you give up you no know, many people out there encourage you that you know don't give up don't give up don't give up is a phrase that has to be used on people who are disciplined who are consistent who are genuine not people like you because you are not disciplined you are not consistent you are not hard working you are not practicing every day these phrases doesn't apply to you at all you are very much comfortable in your bed lying on your bed giving complaints blaming your parents and blaming your environment blaming everything around you just because you are not fluent in english use this phrase that shame on you shame on yourself not don't give up okay that's why i'm telling you give up give up this journey give up it right here because i'm telling you you can't do it eventually you go forward with this journey you can't do anything because all this is a lot of effort to you listening to a podcast reading every reading one page a day watching an interview watching vlogs in english uh, or uh, trying to journal all that all those are very bad habits you are having so many good habits such as watching unnecessary stuff every day lying on your bed not putting any effort all these are good habits no just try to build them try to build them to be fluent in english and i would say for people like you do you even need this decision to be fluent in english do you even need this decision why did you even take this decision if you know that you are very much comfortable lying on your bed and scrolling your phone if you know that why did you even take this decision and disrespecting that decision itself don't do it just that's the reason i'm telling you that if you want to leave some respect to that particular decision give it up right here that would at least you know be of some respect to that decision of being fluent in english guys i don't understand one more thing that what is different for you and what is different for me in my journey of being fluent in english i told you every single thing so clearly that i did not join any english classes i did not uh, take any special training to be fluent in english and i've told you every single thing that i have done to be fluent in english from scratch did i tell you or not i told you right even after listening to that I don't know what is making you to find excuses for yourself. And in many of my previous videos, I told you what is a perfect plan that you can follow as a beginner, or what are the easiest methods that you can follow to be fluent in English. And I know many of you bother a lot about grammar. I clarified a lot about that as well that you do not need a lot of grammar, and. you don't have to worry about it are you guys number of times about this and I, i still don't understand why do you bother about it i feel just because you want an excuse that's the reason you pick this you pick this phrase as a grammar that you know is grammar very important i told you it's not but still you just hang around it i have no problem with it because i'm not bothering about you at all because I, i'm encouraging you to give it up because you can't do it i'm telling you on your face people who are genuine being consistent disciplined i'm pretty sure they must have seen the result that it, that they have desired for and i've thrown a challenge recently on you that you know follow a challenge of listening to our podcast every day or reading reading one page a day watching one interview watching a vlog or journaling every day i gave a perfect plan even for beginners recently and i have no idea about how many of you have been practicing every day and to be honest i have been improving myself a lot from the day i have started my channel every single day there is a change that i am seeing in myself and even in my english because i'm practicing every day i'm being disciplined so there is no loss for me over here there is no loss for you only because you are just pretty comfortable watching this video you just don't want to proceed anything further you just want to complain again complain now keeping everything aside i just want to ask you all what have you been doing guys what have you been doing do you have any sense of responsibility like any sense of responsibility have you been practicing have you been practicing english every day just tell me if yes put your hand on your heart and answer this question to me every day are you being disciplined 
Are you being consistent? Are you hard working? Are you practicing every single day? Put your hand on your heart and answer these questions to me. You don't have to type your answers in the comment section. Your gut knows the answer. You know the truth. How nicely you have been practicing so far. You know the answer. Your gut knows the answer. You don't have to tell that to me. And I'm least bothered about it. But I'm just telling you, what have you been doing? I gave you a perfect plan. Let's just talk about all the complaints and all the solutions to it. Just quickly. Just in one minute. You told me that you don't have a proper environment. I told you that follow, follow all the four aspects that I told you, which is reading, writing, listening and speaking. And you can have a resource to that. I gave you a solution to that. You have a complaint that do I need to focus a lot on grammar? I told you that not a lot. I'm not from an English medium school. Can I speak in English? I told you that, yes, you can definitely speak in English. I made a lot of videos on that as well. Not everyone speaks uh, in English around me. So can I believe, can I be fluent in English? Of course, yes. It's all, your, it's all in your mind. It's all in your thought process. It's all in how you think. This is a solution to that. You have other questions that I'm nervous when I speak in English. I told you that, yes, it is very much obvious to have that nervousness right in the beginning. But when you keep moving on with it, uh, you will get better at it. So you have a solution to that. So for all the five most common problems of every English learner, we have solutions to that. So there's a problem, there's a solution. Now the problem is with whom? With whom? Is it with you or is it with the problems itself? You have solutions to that, but you don't want to apply. So the problem is with you guys. It's not with the problems at all. It's not with the solutions also. It's with you. If you want to be fluent in English, you have to change your mindset first. You have to get up and put that effort. When you do that, you will be just daydreaming that you are going to be fluent in English one day. That will never happen if you don't put any kind of effort. And if you don't want to put that effort, it's better if you give it up right here instead of stressing your mind too much. Is it a rocket science? Is it a rocket science? If someone out there can be fluent in English without having to join a course, can't you be fluent in English? Can't you put that effort to be fluent in English? Can't you make use of everything that you have to be fluent in English? You can very much do it. But what's stopping you? You know what is stopping you? Your laziness. You know what's stopping you? Your overthinking. So first you overcome these. Then you start being fluent in English. Then you dream to be fluent in English. And it's not made for you guys. Being, being fluent in English is not made for you. People like you who are lazy, who didn't want to come out of their comfort zone. It's very, it is not meant for you guys. It's meant for people who are genuine, responsible, consistent, hardworking, disciplined. It's meant for them. So you can't do it. So just leave it right here, I would say. So I would like to tell you that, you know, it's never too late again. Uh, it's never too late again. It's never too late. At least from today, at least from today, whatever has happened in the past, just leave it. Whatever has happened has happened. Just leave it right there. It's never too late. At least from now, uh, if you check out the recent video that I've made uh, where I've given you a proper timetable to follow in order to be fluent in English, at least from now, follow it for the next six months because we are already in the mid of 2024. We are almost done with this year. Only six months left. So at least from now, give this challenge to yourself that every day I'm going to listen to one podcast, watch one interview, watch one vlog in English, uh, read one page a day and journal one page a day at least challenge to yourself at least now for the next six months because i truly want all of you to be fluent in english by the end of this year which is december if not fluent in english i at least want all of you to improve yourself in this aspect of being fluent in english i'm pretty sure if you follow it by the end of this year you are going to be confident you are going to definitely see an improvement in yourself if you follow everything that i've told you in one of my previous videos this is a promise from my side and whatever i've told you in this journey is of course true just answer yourself just ask yourself you are doing that right be honest you are doing that right so that's why I told you not to hurt you or not to demotivate you. Of course, I truly want all of you to be fluent in English. If I'm telling you a technique, if I'm telling you something related to English, that is very much from an understanding 
that i'm telling you i know how you are feeling if you are nervous to speak in english i have been through it and i know how it feels every single second of it i know how it feels if you are bothering about the english environment that you don't have i know how it feels because i've been through it now because of that i gave you a solution for that if you are worried about the medium that you came from i know how it feels i understand that i completely emphasize with you because of which i told you a solution not just because you asked me and i told you a solution when you ask a question i just put myself into those situations and i've been through those situations because of which every single video that i've created on my channel is definitely from my experience and if i'm telling you something i truly want all of you to follow it i don't want you to look at it like a video to just watch and skip it later no i don't want all of you to do that if i'm telling you something that comes from my heart that comes from a pure intention to tell you all that yes you can definitely be fluent in english because if a person like me under confident person like me can do it of course you can you are more capable if under confident or a nervous girl who is an introvert like me can do it why can't you why can't you do it guys you have so many resources than i used to have you are better than me you are more capable then what is stopping you what is stopping you so at least from now i want to promise from all of you that you are going to follow the timetable or the challenge that i given you that i've given you in the past video which i will leave in the description box you can watch it if you want to you are going to follow that for the next 6 months and on december 31st i will make a video again asking you if you have done it or not if not then a permanent bye bye for this decision of being fluent in english feel scared right so if you don't want to feel scared at that point of time just at least start from now to be fluent in english and that's all i can tell you i this video went on a rude note a bit because i want all of you to understand that you know get out of your comfort zone get people would be like what is comfort zone in the sense i on your bed and think that okay i'm not from an english medium school so i'll not speak in english i don't have an english environment so i'll not speak in english so imagining all this or complaining all this is very much easy right you just need to throw that out of your mouth that's it but if you have to get up and put yourself into that discipline to read every day or to write every day or to listen to a podcast every day that is getting out of your comfort zone and that's what you got to do to be fluent in english not only to be fluent in english to do anything to that matter you have to do it there is no other way of doing it that is what you got to do and i would like to in this video right here if anyone got hurt because of the we have spoken in this video i'm extremely sorry for that but my pure intention is to let you guys know that you can very much do it by following few tips or by following everything that i've told you because if i can why can't you